Okay. Hi. I was like, I think that means we're live. <laughs> That's right. Uh, good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Trail Talk. I'm Edie. And I'm Mary. And we're so glad you could join us today. Today is our little tribute to Mother's Day. Right. Um, Happy Mother's Happy Day. Happy Mother's Day, guys. We're not really cousins, but we feel close like that's cousins. right. That's right. We feel like family. Um, anyway, it, it's kind of this is a pretty interesting um kind yes. of history a of story. Mother's Day. Yes. That, yeah, I I was totally clueless about any of this. There was a cliffhanger at the end. Yes. There was a, a couple of weeks ago. I'm kind of a podcast nerd, and I was listening to a podcast, and it was about the history of Mother's Day. Um, very intriguing, like kick off to the story. And I just, I was just jaw drop. Yes. End. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. So anyway, I thought this would make a really great Mother's Day. And then for those of you viewers who haven't yet purchased something for your mother or your those life. mothers in your life, <laughs> um, get on it. Time is running yeah, out. Get down to a couple hours. Yeah. 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 So I found a super sweet picture. Aww. Isn't that so sweet? The history of Mother's Day. Your babies really can't hold a rattle at that age. Right, <laughs> right. Look at those sweet red. little shoes on that baby. So, so sweet. It is. It's so sweet. Um, so anyway, um, I do want to just say that uh, I Mother's Day is one of those holidays that um, it, it brings a mixed bag of emotions, mm -hmm. and I don't I don't want to uh, just dive into this without kind of saying um, if if you want to be a mom and you aren't one yet, uh, I feel you. I been through disappointments and things like that, you know, right. um, if you are a mom to um, animals and you consider yourself their there you mama, go. You go. right on, I, right, I, I honor and respect you too, you and if you have had to say goodbye to your mama, and that is a hurtful thing, my heart is hurting right now, and I'm getting a little emotional about it. My mama yep. is still here, but Mary's is not. And um, anyway, that it makes Mother's Day really hard. So I know that Mother's Day can have highs and lows and everything in between. So anyway, I, I just want you to know, um, we see you, we feel you out there. That's and right. um, just- You're not alone. Yeah, you're not alone. And just cherish every- minute with your mama your or the mamas who aren't real mamas but they are your mamas or the <laughs> your you know wh whoever it is that you are the mama to just cherish it all take it all in it's all a part of life and it's beautiful and anyway let's dive into the history of mother's day now okay sorry about that that's okay yes. you're good you're good i just wanted we're to good. make sure that we plan we're good yeah um okay so Mother's Day celebrations began way, way back, back, way back. A ancient Greek and Roman cultures um, held festivals in honor of mother goddesses. Of course, they had the Roman gods, the Greek gods, you know, the right, gods for everything. Yeah. And uh, let's see, there they were Rhea and Sibylle. 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 I'm so sorry. C Y B E L E. How do you pronounce it? Um, and so they had, uh, there were, you know, all sorts of ancient acknowledgments, uh, probably some rituals of some kind, mm -hmm. uh, festivals, all oh, of those okay. things. So I think, I thought it was kind of important just to bring this up because moms have been important forever. That's right. Well, you don't have generations if you don't have mothers. Well, this is you know, true. This is true, just on a very the lowest, lowest level, log logical mm -hmm. level right mm -hmm. there. But the, here we have a very ancient sculpture, relief, actually. Mm -hmm. We yes, know yes. what this is called because right. we work at a museum <laughs> with an art gallery. We have that knowledge. Yes. And um, just a, a mom, a baby, and looks like uh, the father, perhaps, you know, um, just Anyway, a gazing. Kind of a, yeah, kind of a, a very sweet family moment mm -hmm. from the ancients. But um, the they kind this kind of idea probably set the precedence for the Mother's Day 
Um, but Mother's Day had an earlier Mother's Day as we know it. Right. We're gonna we're gonna keep Mother's Day as we know it kind of off here to yeah. the side for yeah. a little bit. We're gonna keep it over here. Yeah. Um there was an early Christian festival known as Mothering Sunday. Okay, and on Mothering Sunday, this was typically um uh, red forty celebrated right in um the UK and parts of Europe celebrated on the fourth Sunday in Lent. Mm -hmm. So it was a Christian celebration right. it was associated with Lent. And um, it was a scene, a scene as a time when the faithful world would return to their mother church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, or which would be the main church in, in their near house. where they live right. for a very special service. Then over the over time, Mother and Sunday tradition shifted into a more secular holiday where children would present their mom with flowers. Mm -hmm. Seems like a tradition that's kind of still with us today. Yes. Yeah. Um, that faded into popularity before merging uh, with our American Mother's Day of the 30s and 40s. So um, the original Mother's Day as celebrated in the United States was these Mother's up. Day work clubs. Okay, which I don't know if work and club, but club yeah. seems like a social event. Yeah, work, work is tied with it. And then I they mean, tell them how to care for their children so that they can figure yeah, that out. Yeah, I mean, um, but actually the origin of this um, was before the Civil War, there was a woman named Ann Reeves Jarvis from West Virginia, and she got this day started to teach local women how to properly care for their children. And then as time went by and the Civil War happened, right. she worked basically as a nurse. She cared for all, anyone she came across who was um, injured somehow. Mm -hmm. And and so her mother's work club kind of shifted direction from her, your own children to caring for others. others. Right, right. Yeah. Um, and then in 1868, she organized the Mother's Friendship Day. Which I thought, I think this is kind of like a support club. Yes. Like a support group like you would think of now. Absolutely. Mothers but helping mothers. It was post-Civil War, and the effort was to bring together mothers who whose children fought on Against each other. either side. Right. So that there was no, it was a day of peace making. Right. Essentially. Yeah, no hard feelings were coming together. Yeah. And, and just encourage women to just have these friendships it was to promote reconciliation which we all know I mean the civil war was over but full reconciliation is still well I, I'm not sure it's well that's still true that's true there still yeah you know been there are a lot or... yeah there's a lot of people who still kind of have strong feelings on one way or the other one way or the other anyway um so um this is Anne Reeves Jarvis, okay, the, the woman who started right, the all home. of that, that she had a daughter named Anna Jarvis, and when she was just 12 years old in 1878, that was the year Lizzie Johnson met her future her husband. Oh, okay, let's just throw that out there, just for, you know, those of you who might <laughs> maybe pull that together yeah. somehow, yeah. Um, but she listened to her mom teach Sunday school lessons on mothers who in the Bible, and she, her mom said, I hope and pray that someone sometime will found a memorial Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And there are many days for men, but none for mothers. And uh, so Anna listened to those words. Right. Heard her mom speak those words. And took them to heart. She was a little girl, loved, adored her mother. Mm -hmm. um, so... Uh, Kind of hang on to that, okay? <laughs> keep that and, back in your mind. Right, yeah, keep that one back there. That's going to sit over there with our <laughs> with our American. Yeah. Um, so there was another precursor to what we call Mother's Day today, and it came from the abolitionist suffragette um, Ward Howe. Julia Ward Howe. And I feel like we may have mentioned her name when we were talking about um, in during so Women's Month. Uh -huh. yeah. and the suffragist movement yeah, and all sounded, that. It sounded yeah. familiar. Um, so in 1870, she wrote the Mother's Day Proclamation, which was a call 
to ask mothers to unite in promoting world peace. And um, in 1872, there was a Boston poet, pacifist, and women, oh, this was her, yeah, um, established this special day for mothers and for peace not long after the Franco-Prussian War. And in 1873 was when she campaigned for this day to be on June the 2nd. Mm -hmm. So we have the fourth Sunday in Lent was the Mothering Sunday. Then we have the June the 2nd. So we're kind of hovering. We're, we're on is Father's Day a thing yet? Time no. Time? Okay. No, Father's Day is not. It actually comes after, after okay. mm -hmm. the establishment of Mother's Day. And so um, other early Mother's Day pioneers included uh, Juliet Calhoun Blake Blakely, a temperist activist who inspired a local Mother's Day in Albion, Michigan in the 1870s. Then there were two other people, Mary Toll Sassine and Frank Herring, both worked to organize a Mother's Day in the late 19th and 20th centuries. And some have called Frank Herring the father of Mother's Day, <laughs> quote, unquote, <laughs> right. little funny quip, right. I guess, uh, about that. Um, this is, this is um, Juliet Calhoun Blakely, no photo, but a very um, nice, sketch right of her as another woman who i the common thread here is that mothers deserve just a moment Remission. a day mm -hmm. where we actually celebrate everything among us right are very quick to give moms credit for but oh you do this mm -hmm. and you do that and you know, you go to work and you come, you raise your kids, you bring you home kids, the bacon, fry it up in a pan. You remember that? You do the laundry, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, and so it's like you know, a, a mother's work is never done. There are phrases yes, and all the these work, things. The um, but we see this this movement for an actual day of acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. Um. So Mother's Day 1908, okay, is what we're headed to. So um, the official Mother's Day arose as a result of Anna Jarvis, the 12-year-old girl who heard, heard her mother teaching from the Bible. Um, after her mom passed away in 1905, she conceived of Mother's Day as a way of honoring the sacrifices that mothers made for their children. Right. So she... I mean, she campaigned pretty hard. Um, and this is what this podcast, this was all about this story <laughs> of her. She raised money. She got the backing of a Philadelphia department store, John Wayne Wanamaker. Mm -hmm. It was called Wanamaker's. Um, that is an excellent last name, though, isn't it? Wanamaker. Wanamaker. Yeah. Oh, my go gosh. Countless ways. So <laughs> many things you could do with that name, Wanamaker. Man. <laughs> Anyway, so she, in 1908, she organized the first official's Mother Day, Mother's Day celebration at this Methodist church mm -hmm. in Grafton, West Virginia. So remember, her she was from West Virginia, but she lived in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. So that's why the two different cities. Right. Now, now remember, this, this is the early 1900s. Um, so all of these other celebrations that had happened in Michigan or um, other places... It wasn't like there was this unification yet of everybody on the same day. Right. Right. Of, of, I mean, how do you get the word out <laughs> right. in those days? It's not, I mean, there's not even press, telegraph, there's not even radio <laughs> yet. And so not, not everyone knew what everyone else was doing. Right. Exactly. But she comes along and she, uh, this is like her, her personal her, she wants to get this, this done. Yes, this is her life's her work. goal. Yeah, her life's work, her opus. This is her opus, okay? Um, and so the, the day saw thousands of people attend a Mother's Day event at one of the retail stores in Philadelphia, as well as at this church. Mm -hmm. So um, she, Anna, was able to secure, let me see if I... Um, she was able to secure, oh, it's not in here. She managed to get hundreds. I can't remember how many. She got hundreds of white carnations. Oh, and then she paid for a lot of them out of her own money. 
That was part of her vision. Uh, well, it had the very first okay. one. And so everyone who attended the service in West Virginia, everyone who went to the Watermaker store in Philadelphia got this white carnation. And it's important to bring that point up. Okay. Uh -huh. So the custom spreads to churches, um, yeah, in 45 states, Puerto Rico, Hawaii, Mexico, Canada, the governor of West Virginia proclaims Mother's Day in 1912. Then Pennsylvania's governor did the same thing in 1913. And then the following year, President Woodrow Wilson signs a congressional resolution. I mean, Mother's it's Day. Coming. Yeah, it's coming about. It's happening. Well, following the success of the first Mother's Day, okay, Anna Jarvis herself never married. That's the daughter. The daughter, yeah. She never married. She never had children. She wanted this to be added to the national calendar. Mm -hmm. So um, she argued American holidays were biased toward male achievements and started a massive letter writing campaign. This is how things were done in the early 1900s, y'all. Sat down, pen, and, well, probably. Yeah, in, in, in and well. In well, yes, no ballpoint pens yet. Mm -mm. And so the campaign went through newspapers, prominent politicians, all of this are on for a special day to honor mother's motherhood. So by 1912, there were many states, towns, churches adopting Mother's Day as a national holiday. And when Woodrow Wilson signed the measure to officially establish it, it was set at the second Sunday in May and remains that day today. Since 1914. Yeah. So um, she originally conceived that this day would be involved with wearing white carnations, attending church services, you spend time with your mom, mm -hmm. you know, all of that all traditional. Right. My husband is uh, has ordered a, a, a corsage for me every year. Every year <laughs> he orders a corsage for me. My mom gets a corsage. Mm -hmm. I know that's very old fashioned, but it's just one of those things I love. Right. And now I know why the corsage is a part of Mother's Day. It was Anna Jarvis's mm -hmm. idea. Right, there you go. There you go. I feel like now I'm going to be doing something <laughs> historical. Yeah. You know, when I'm brandishing my <laughs> when you're corsage when you're and pins. I'm pinned, exactly. Um so, you know, she's she has this vision in mind of this being a very particular type of celebration. But once it became a national holiday, it wasn't long before florists, other companies and other uh, car, car companies and merchants jumped on it. Jumped right in. Here's Anna here holding the white carnations, white carnations mm -hmm. uh -huh, in her little bouquet there. Yes. Um, Look very much like her mother. Very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she really favors her mother. Um, but, and you know, that might have been part of her thing. You know, some kids like favor one parent more than very another. Very much resemble one. Uh -huh. And maybe just the likeness that she recognized in herself. I don't know. But she just really adored her mother and wanted to honor her. Um, so commercialization of Mother's Day <laughs> takes. <laughs> okay, so. How did that happen? Well, she kind of started that start, excuse me, started it inadvertently because she got all these carnations. Mm -hmm. So the florists, yeah, they had around, where do you get them from? You get yeah, them from the florists. The florists around the US are going, whoa. <laughs> I think we can get a little cash yeah. money yeah. on this thing. Let's go with it. And I'm not saying that, I mean, it's the story of America, capitalization. Right. I mean, capitalism, capitalism, uh, making money, mm -hmm. you know, um, finding being, your niche, being and... the first one to jump onto mm -hmm. an opportunity, mm -hmm. real opportunist, I guess you could right. say. Um, so by 1920, she, this thing was uh, well, 1908 was the year she first right. got this going. By 1920, she had had it. She was disgusted. She was so curious. the the pod, The podcast I listened to said she even traveled into uh, like to Europe to kind Just of to make promote. Well, uh, before she got so proud yeah, about she did to, okay. to promote Mother's Day there as to be a similar so celebration. Mm -hmm. She wanted it, and 
you don't you know every time she spoke someone is back there with a like Thank a little know. calculator so you're going to <laughs> well, they idea. got their abacus yeah. over there and yeah. up how much money they're gonna make i mean i i don't mean it to be that harsh but right. somebody saw dollar signs yes um so uh she denounced the transformation and urged people to stop buying flowers cards yeah, yeah. and gifts on mother's day yeah well, we all know how that went, right? She, that, that did not. What are we buying this year? Right? Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um. So anyway, um, there was a story in uh on this in this podcast. podcast. Yeah, that um, it was actually like the very first story, and it was about Anna Jarvis. She goes in. Well, there was a woman who went into a restaurant on Mother's Day sat down people recognized her right. they're whispering they re they know who she is she um asked the waiter comes over she asked if there's a mother's day special he says yes we have this salad and she said well i'd like one please so he brings it over sits it in front of her and she just flips it off the table stands up and marches out her her individual protest right. to the fact that they're serving food in a restaurant mother's and day. mother's day is the one is who they're crediting right. it's but special. they're just making money off of it dad nabbit she's pretty mad about it and um, <laughs> launched lawsuits even yes she well she wanted to have like to the trademark way, she it. wanted it in her vision but she wanted the actually the term mother's day she wanted that trademark for that to be hers and, and not so yeah. nobody else could use it. How are you going to call it Mother's Day? But she's the only one that can use it. I mean, how does that work? Yeah. So I mean, that was that was. She thought she came up with it, which we know that there like were other people kind thing. of had a similar thing right. prior. Um, they called it a similar name. Anyway, the profiteer profiteers were uh, many. She um. She, for it. yeah, she lobbied. Um, by the time she died in 1948, she had disowned the holiday altogether and even actively lobbied the government to get it removed from the calendar. But I mean, obviously, 1948, that it, that it it's carried. 2023, 80 years later, we, we still it's celebrate still the calendar. Yeah, it's literally 75 years after her death, is this year. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we're still partying hard <laughs> on mother's day <laughs> baby <laughs> so Be on mother's day on yeah, yeah true um so what are you gonna do mom let's celebrate the commercialization of our love with an overpriced mother's day brunch <laughs> there you go there you go there you have it you got it right and there it right. yeah um i thought that was kind of funny yeah. that it would you know be out there anyway um but uh so there's your your great historical uh, tale of Mother's Day, how it came to be, and yes. where it came from, where it was in the heart, what it has become. Um, you make it yours, though. I mean, it. I know it's commercialized. Everything is. Everything. Is. I mean, there's even a holiday out there that I saw the other day. There was cards for it I never even heard of before. Okay. Like, and see, that was one of the things that made her pretty upset. With cards? Is, no, is that if you look at a calendar, there are days that are celebrated. It's National Ice Cream Day. Yes. It's National Cupcake Day. It's National Take Your Daughter dog to Work to, Day. Dog to or Dog to Work Day. Yeah, I mean, it's National Something Day all Everything. the time. And she felt like that those things Took it away from watered down Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Right. And I can see her point yeah. there. That's a fair point. It is a fair point. Yeah. She'd be really over. Oh, yeah. Today. Today would be way too much for me. Mm -hmm. Jarvis. We thank you, Anna, for we your do. hard work we and dedication. Do. And we're sorry that you died so bitterly upset over, over the whole about thing. The way things <laughs> happened. Um, but there are some other ways that Mother's Day is celebrated yes. around the world. And I thought this is great. Mother's Day mm -hmm. um, is celebrated in August in Thailand on the birthday of the current queen. I'm not going to say her name right. because that might offend someone because I would say it wrong. Alternate observances can be found in Ethiopia where families gather each fall to sing songs and eat a large feast. 
Um, there's a multi-day celebration honoring motherhood. You hear that, kids? Multi-day. In some places, it's multi-day. So you're getting off easy. You get yeah. one day. Yeah. <laughs> um, so here, obviously, it continues to be done. Um, families give mom the day off, mm -hmm. cook, take them out to eat, do some chores. Yeah. They pretty. Much, I always get asked, what do you want to do? Nothing. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. I want to do every other day. <laughs> Just... Um, you know, sometimes it's. I love like, being a mom, but I don't want to hear the word mom. Today. Yeah, so, I know. So, I mean, they yelled from across the house. Yeah, just like um, I just kind of want to literally have the day off. Yeah, and it just. Doesn't I know happen. it sounds horrible, but I mean, nothing better in the world than being a mother. Don't right, take it right. for granted. Uh, um, but now that I'm a grandmother, though, yeah, <laughs> I really just kind of want to do that. <laughs> Just play with the baby, you know. No offense, kids. Love you. <laughs> Y'all could happen. I'm just saying. But anyway, um, so uh, Mother's Day also is the time people have like used the day to make these grand announcements yes. and start yes. new the ideas right. and things. Right. But you know, it comes together. You make your mom cry. You know, you do the yes, whole thing exactly. Um, but I don't know. Did you notice the shades of pink? That we had come across, our, yeah, team. yeah. Um, we hope that you can see that we did that for moms. Um, <laughs> that was anyway. Uh, Mom's Day is a great day, and whatever that looks like for That's you, right. we, whatever. Yes. Um, just if you know some of those moms who might be alone, not by choice, right, right. Reach out, yes. share some love. Yes. And um, let them know that somebody, somebody sees loves them, them, thinks of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, knows they're there. That's right. And uh, love on all the moms you know. There you go. I love all of you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> all of you moms She's out there. You get it That's right back. Right. That's right. <laughs> So anyway, thanks for joining us today. You guys, tomorrow we have this super great guest who's coming. Her name's Kirsty McCoy. And Kirsty is a special Olympian. She swims. Her club here in town is called Specially Made Penguins. And I have the great honor of serving on the board of Specially Made Penguins. And it has just been such a wonderful experience of creating this organization and doing all these things for it. But Kirsty is going to come and talk to us tomorrow and tell us about her journey because in June, she is going to Germany representing the United States for the World Special Olympic mm -hmm. Games. She's only one of two, right? Two athletes mm -hmm. from Oklahoma. She's one of them. Mm -hmm. Four women who are swimmers from the whole United States. And, she and she's one of them. So I just, if you know Kiersey, please watch. Um, if you don't, Please watch. Please watch. It's going to be amazing this, either way. She is something. She grew up with our youngest son, AJ. And so I've known Kirsty since she was a little girl. And this has just been an awesome thing watch to watch her swimming. That's her thing, man. <laughs> so and, I am. And she, right. And she is great at telling us about it. So we're going to get to talk to her. So please join us tomorrow on Trail Talk. Same time, same place, <laughs> same, same chat. Chat channel, same <laughs> Maybe should, we should say like Longhorn Channel. We same. Even, no, we, same. Oh, well, I was thinking yeah. cattle drives. Yeah. Same, same cattle channel, like Bat Channel King's cattle. Same cow channel. Cow channel. I like that. Cow. Good job. Choo, choo. Okay, uh, we'll stop now. Yeah, we're going to stop. Moms are rambling. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy, Happy trails. trails.